Hello and welcome back to another video. Sorry for the wait, but I took kind of took a, a small break. So yeah, on to episode four of this book series called The Hidden Tunnel. Okay, I can turn to the page. Okay, episode four, The Hidden Tunnel. Sparkpuff, Freya, Clawthorn, Winnowieve, and Firerock were leaving Stolma Plaza. As they were leaving, they saw a tunnel between two bushes. Hey, look at this tunnel! Do you think we should go in? Asked Firerock. No, we shouldn't! It looks scary in there, Freya said. Stop being so scared, teased Winnowieve. Don't call me that! It's dark in here! I'm afraid of the dark! She insisted. Don't worry, Freya. It doesn't look that scary. Said Sparkpaw. Well, shall we go in? Asked Fire Rock. I guess, Hawthorne replied. The five wolves began to crawl in the tunnel, but the tunnel was very long and the wolves got tired of crawling. I'm getting tired. Can we stop crawling? Asked Freya. I think we're almost there. I can see some lights, said Sparkpaw. When, when they finally made it, they all looked around and walked forward. Clawthorn noticed a path on the left and the right. She stopped walking and said, Look at these paths. Shall we go down one of them? The other four wolves stopped walking and Sparkpaw said, I'm not sure. It looks a little scary. They all continued walking forward, but then saw another path. Shall we go in one of the? Shall we go in this one? Clawthorn asked. Fine, we can. Sparkpaw replied. When they went to the path, they saw a big rock that said, Help! I know about this. Let me explain. <laughs> Clawthorn said, The wolf who put help on this rock is the wolf who found Stone Wolf, the mystery wolf. <laughs> when she first found Stone Wolf, she explored the whole island and filled most of the things here. She even built a statue herself to let other wolves know that she found Stone Wolf. The next day, lots of wolves saw the island. Most of the wolves thought Stone was so beautiful, so they decided to live there. One week later, the mystery wolf came back to Stone Wolf to find some minerals. Well, mostly diamonds in one of the caves. She got attacked two times while finding some minerals because those two wolves thought she was stealing them. After 30 minutes of searching, she was tired and sweaty. She thought she was lost, so she called for help, but no one, answered, no one responded. She then wrote help on the rock behind her with her claws. And suddenly, someone pounced on her and killed her. Today, she is a ghost and lives in this cave. I still don't know what her real name is because she only told a couple wolves. Clawthorn explained. That is scary, Fire Rock said. Where did you get this information? Freya asked. From a book, Clawthorn replied. The five wolves suddenly heard a loud scream coming from the cave. Who said that scream? Freya said. I think it's miserable fraud. Dark Crow explained. They all started to run and the mystery wolf chased them. They went to that path and left. The mystery wolf tried to stab Clawthorn with her sword, but she avoided it. Then it went to the path on the right, ran in circles three times, they went to the tunnel and the mystery wolf stopped chasing them. After tons of crawling again, they got out of the tunnel and Clawthorn said, I'm hungry. Is there any food nearby? Clawthorn asked. Sparkpot turned around and saw a fat, peach colored wolf with brown hair sleeping with a sack next to her. Sparkpot wanted to see what was in the sack, so she took a peek inside and saw a lot of food. She saw a red apple and Sparkpaw knew Clawthorn likes apples, so she took the apple and said, Here, have a red juicy apple. Thanks, Sparkpaw, Clawthorn said. She then took a big bite out of it. So yeah, that's the end of episode 4. Episode, so stay tuned for episode 5 called The Spirits.